World Mission Report A Reason to Live Muen was raised in a Christian home in Angola, but he wasn't really interested in the church and even less about being baptized. As a teenager, he fell in love with rock and roll and began to copy the lifestyle of his rock idols. That meant wearing only black clothes, getting lots of tattoos, and at this time in his life, Muen also became involved with Satanism. In high school, a friend of his introduced him to drugs and he began to smoke marijuana and drink alcoholic beverages. To top it all off, one night, Muen told Satan that he would trade his soul for success in music. That's when his life fell apart. His mother passed away, his father became a raging alcoholic, and he became responsible for his younger siblings. In the middle of all that chaos, Muen promised never to smoke or drink again. He began to pray and left rock and roll behind. He also began to date an Adventist girl. However, sometime later the relationship ended and Muen dove back into his old life. But try as he might, he didn't find any fulfillment or joy there. He just wasn't happy. Due to the drugs, he started having suicidal thoughts, and then he prayed. He told God that his life was empty. He felt that the end was near, but he wanted to change. At that time, he met an Adventist psychologist and began to meet with him. With time, Muen changed his lifestyle and found new, God-given reasons to live. He began to go to church again, and after studying the Bible for a while, he was baptized. Muen says that his purpose in life now is to lead people to Jesus, and that makes him very happy. Part of this quarter's offerings will be sent to help build an Adventist school in Muen's hometown in Angola. Let us be generous with our offerings. <laughs>